while work rules are hard yes-no qualifiers that the system must enforce and will never override, service objectives is what you seek to optimize, how you want to influence the behavior of the system to achieve specific operational goals. Field Service Lightning offers six key objectives covering a vast majority of the field service requirements you will encounter out there. As soon as possible objective will assure that in a given time frame the system will strive to schedule as early as possible within this time frame. This will be an important objective to include when providing prompt service is important. Minimizing overtime and travel will naturally control the most important operational costs a field service operation will encounter. And when a choice is given between several relevant candidates, those who will incur least travel and least overtime will be considered as more optimal. Preferred resource is not a mandatory resource, but rather someone you would like to have on site if possible. If not, let's schedule someone else. If you have such preference in your field service operation, the preferred service resource objective is an important one to activate. In some use cases, resources need to be prioritized by different parameters. It could be different cost levels, ratings of performance as a feedback coming from the resources. It could be a variety of other parameters that define one resource as a priority over another. The resource priority objective works with the resource priority field on the service resource. You have a lot of freedom to decide what this priority is and how that particular field is influenced on the service resource itself. Be sure to point to the relevant field on your service resource for the system to consider that field as the priority. The skill level objective will allow you to differentiate between various resources based on their skill level. Consider a scenario where you have somebody who's been with the company for many years, has a lot of experience, and obviously is more expensive, versus someone who just got hired, got the training, but still regarded as a junior or a brand new employee. What will be your preference? To select the least qualified and least expensive resource to complete a particular job, or the most experienced and the most expensive resource for the best possible customer service? 